This is Venice High School. Over the years, it's had its share of notable athletes, including NFL quarterback J.P. Lawsman, defensive back Dana McLemore, and most recently, a certain linebacker named Jonas Mouton. He came here in the middle of the 10th grade, and the very first hit of Jonas's first game here when he was a junior, he knocked the guy out. He knocked, he knocked, he knocked the guy out. And that kind of set the tone for the rest of his time here. The boy who can hit became a Michigan man and is now a San Diego Charger. Picked in the second round of the 2011 draft by a team in need of some defensive life. After five turbulent years as a Wolverine, Mouton is going back to Cali. I, I definitely consider it home. I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a place called PEP. Uh, they do a great job down here. Uh, they, they helped me train for the combine, so I'm just, you know, I came back to work out, waiting for the lockout to be over. Here in this nondescript building inside of a strip mall, he works out six days a week. His life is all training, all the time. You know, I'll just wake up, eat breakfast, around 10 or something, come in, work out. Then I end up just going back home and relaxing, and maybe get a, a later workout in the day. But that lifestyle isn't new to Mouton. In fact, it's what got him to the NFL. His focus, his determination, his ability, even as a teenager, to block out distractions. The thing about Jonas was that he always saw the end. He, I think he could see the finish line better than a lot of kids. He's a hardworking person. He's a dedicated person. He's a person who keeps himself out of trouble. And he's very serious and determined to finish what he, what he starts. What he started in Venice was a change in the gondolier's attitude. He brought grit to a team that lacked defensive presence. We weren't physical. We were finesse. We, I'm an offensive-oriented coach. But when you get a guy like Jonas, I don't know. It's just like you have to feed that. If you were on the field and you knew he was kind of lurking, you knew where he was. He's one of those kind of guys, you know, you know where he's at. You, you kind of identify where he's at because you know you don't want to get hit by the guy. Mouton, who primarily played safety in high school, was one of the most sought after recruits in the nation. He chose Michigan because of its tradition and history. As a Wolverine, he led the Big Ten in tackles his senior year while playing for a struggling program. Maybe the hard times at Michigan even humbled him even more. The past couple years weren't the best at uh, Michigan and I feel like that had a lot to do with, uh, with me maturing and growing up and becoming a better football player. No matter what situation I'm put in, I feel like I could come out on top. There's nothing that Jonas will ever do that will surprise me. You know, I know that some guys are destined to, to have that kind of life, and I know that he'll be responsible and do the right things. Mouton is ready for the biggest test of his career, and he's playing just a few hours from where he got his start. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be going back to California, and I'm excited about playing with the Chargers. You know, all my friends and family will be able to come down and watch me play, and I'm going to continue to do the things that, that got me here, and uh, hopefully that, that, that's enough to, to get started and obviously learn when I get down there and, and listen to the vets and get the coaching and, you know, be the best Charger I can be, you know. <laughs>